hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a concept called post dated check in short in accounts we call it pdc before i show this to in the system i would like to talk about in detail about this concept so that you understand what is post dated check so post dated check means if a come organization issuing a check they mention a check date or clearing date is in future so that is basically the post dated check concept and what happens with the accounting entry of that post dated check when we account into the erp system or accounting system that i will talk about now for the normal entry when a payment is received or other organization a company send up check to the vendor that time the normal in the normal time not about pdc normal entry is vendor account is debited bank account is credited because vendor liability is decreasing vendor account is debited and bank account from bank the money is going however for the post dated entry post dated check entry the accounting is something different the reason is as you see this check clearing date is in future so when we our organization you know send a check to the vendor or receive a payment from a customer and that the check clearing date is in future so at the time of accounting that when they receive the check or when they when the organization send the check to the vendor that time the accounting entry is vendor account debited because vendor liability is debiting but as because of future that the check date is in future that time we cannot credit the bank unless that that maturity date comes instead on that day what we will do we will bring a concept called bridging account so instead of crediting the bank account we will credit the bridging account so what will be the entry on the first day when we issue the check or we see the payment from a uh, customer which is you know for a future dated check that day we will we will clear the vendor liability but from the credit side we will not clear or we will not deduct the money from the bank instead we will have the bridging account as credited and when the maturity date comes the entry will be bridging account will be debited and then bank account will be credited the reason the reason is the maturity date from the maturity date the the real money is deduct, deducted from the bank because of the bank account was bridging account was credited at the time of accounting the pdc entry <coughs> we need to nullify this by bringing the same account as a debit so that is all about the pdc concept and the accounting entry in the erp system of the pdc concept now the same thing the same accounting entry we will see how to do that in microsoft dynamics cct by finance and operation the first thing to enable the post dated check we need to go to cash and bank management parameter and then under the post dated check tab we need to enable enable post dated check and post journal entries for post dated checks once we enable this no to yes and you will notice this two options will be Uh, field will be enabled, and from the drop down, we can select ledger account. So, what is this about? This is exactly the same which we are talking about bridging account. So, when we account the PDC entry at the first time, this bridging account will be credited, or for customer, it will be debited. <coughs> okay. So, for that case, we will use bridging account for issued check. Issued check means as an organization, we are we are sending the check to the vendor for its post dated check and for clearing account for receiving check it will work as a customer account bridging account for account receivable so here also i will use bridging i can use two different account or same account whatever is preferred now we will use general journal for clearing entries i will just select a uh, any journal i will talk about this later on when we will see this process and for now i will just select this and transfer posted checks for what is this about that in which payment journal this posted check will be used or transferred that's it now another 
setup is we need to configure or we need to create a method method of payment for deposited check so i will create a say deposited check as one and that's it and here we need to select as a bank post accounting type and from the payment account we will select a bank bank of india and after that we need to enable this post dated check clearing posting option to yes and as soon as i select this you will notice this bridging account is automatically selected or automatically filled up so from where it is coming it is coming from the cash and bank management parameter what just we have configured in the bridge in the clearing account so if i go to cash and bank management and we have given the ledger account here in the issued checks had it been a customer method of payment this account would have been filled up automatically in the method of payment so again we will go to method of payment payment setup method of payment so okay. where are you method of payment for vendor sorry i went to customer but okay so this one we have created so as you see bridging posting is automatically enabled or once i enabled this and bridging account is automatically selected so that's it for the posited check configuration first from the cash and bank management parameter we need to select some setup like uh, add the clearing account enable posited check option and two journal like two journal names we need to select now we will talk about those two options first i will now process a payment journal by selecting this method of payment i will create new vendor payment journal lines and i will maybe payment is the payment with payment proposal option on the payment proposal let's see what we have <coughs> now i will click on the one and create the payment now i will select the method of payment i will maybe select this pdc has one and you will notice as soon as i select this automatically this offset account will be filled up it is coming from the method of payment setup what we have done here not for this okay not for this this one automatically coming okay now i will post this no sorry uh, before i post i need to go to post dated checks i need to add the check number here and i can add the maturity date to future date so that should be maturity date to future that's it that's the reason it is a post dated check okay i will click on post so now what we are doing basically if i go to our ppt we are here this pdc and under pdc and vendor account debit bridging account is credited we are in this space so now it is posted exactly we will go to the voucher and we will notice the vendor account has been cleared vendor balance is debited and bridging account is credited exactly same thing which we have seen in the ppt okay so now our maturity date was on future date so the question is when this will be created in the system whether we will create manually bridging account debit or bank account credit the answer is no now we will go to this option call under payments there will be option call a vendor post dated checks here we will see all the post dated check has been posted till date here okay so now 
uh, our positive check is this one because I remember that that is the 401 option okay so now before I do that I want to show you one thing that in cash and bank management parameter I told you I will discuss later on so now this is the time so in cash and bank management parameter we have selected a journal name under general journal general journal for clearing entries we have selected this adjustment journal and transfer posted vendor payment because this is we have already seen that when in which journal uh, the posted check will be the first entry will be posted so we have posted already the second option is general journal for clearing entries and that is very important without this this will not work so what system will do system will automatically create this bridging account debit to bank account but to create it system need a general journal so that's where that's why we need to select the general journal and this general journal will be used to second posited check entry so what we will do we will go to accounts payable method of payment sorry i'm sorry you need to go to accounts payable vendor posited check and here we don't need to do anything we just need to go select this we need to click on settle and we need to click click on settle clearing entries and you will notice there is there will be an error the error is the operation can only be performed on the checks which are posted and matured so that means we just selected a maturity date which is in future but today we cannot post it but because this date is on future so now for this demo <coughs> what i will do i will rent a time machine and i will go to a go to the future jokes apart i will not do that i don't have any time machine so what i will do i will use a trick maybe um, i will change the session date okay to 30th this is my time machine so now i will go to vendor post check i will click on settle clearing entries and you will notice number of voucher posted to the journal one so this is posted now if i go to general journal okay and if i see the posted journal okay okay newest to oldest see this adjustment journal just now posted I will click on lines and you will notice exactly the same amount has been posted and exactly the entry which you have talked about here bridging account debit and bank account credit bridging account this one is a bridging account is a debit and the bank account is credited okay this is matching with our concept which we have cleared just now so the question is from where this bank account is coming from where this bridging account is coming this is coming from the method of payment uh, which we have selected the first time okay and this bank account is coming from the method of payment as a payment account which you have selected the first time at the time of setup okay see if i go to this voucher you will notice the entry the bank account is credited and the bridging account is is debited okay exactly the same thing happens so in short the posited check is the second time up so when the maturity date comes we don't need to do anything it's the automation system will automatically post so to make it you know in short so posited check is means we need two entries while we are issuing a check or receiving a payment uh, from the customer as a check which is on future dated clearing date at that time we will clear the customer or vendor balance but we will post the opposite entry we will not post into the bank we will post into the bridging account when the maturity date comes we will for the vendor payment we will you know credit the bank at the time of maturity date and we will debit the bank for the customer at the time of maturity date but this debiting bank or crediting bank for receiving original payment we don't need to do anything it's just the automation entry system will pass but to do that we need to do some setup which i have shown you in the system okay so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new or you if you wherever this concept it has been a maybe a revision for you okay thanks for watching let's 
wait for another video from my side bye for now